साइराम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन एज वी आर ऑन चैप्टर थर्ड ऑफ साइंस ए दैट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशंस टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड अ लॉट इन दिस चैप्टर इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज एंड द वे फाइव मेजर फैक्टर्स ऑन विच द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन डिपेंड आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर दैट and i hope you all are completing your assignments for the next topic that we are going to start today i request you all to take to keep your 9th standard science textbook in front of you that will be more beneficial because today the topic that we are going to discuss for that we need a little of recapitulation of the previous topics that you have studied in 9th standard ओके सो इट विल बी मच बेटर इफ यू हैव अ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू फॉर दिस लेक्चर सो इट विल बिकम मच इजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ओके सो यू कैन सी यर ऑब्जर्व द रिएक्शंस गिवन बिलो आई हैव गिवन फोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द रिएक्शंस यू कैन इजीली सी फर्स्ट इज मैग्नीशियम प्लस ऑक्सीजन गिव्स magnesium oxide second one is carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide third is magnesium hydroxide magnesium and hydrogen it is giving okay and the fourth one it is ethane it's converting to ethene it, it's just a example four examples given of the reaction okay observed now if you have observed it in the reaction first and second a reactant combines with oxygen yes see here in the first and second reaction the oxygen oxygen gets combined to the reactant whereas in third and fourth hydrogen gas is removed from the reactant see once again see in the third and fourth one third one from mgh2 hydrogen is separated and in the fourth one also one bond is getting converted into double bond now it's uh, we are going to study about it in detail in the further chapter so here also hydrogen is removed okay so uh, once again i repeat in the reaction first and second oxygen gets combined whereas in third and fourth hydrogen gas is removed okay and all these are examples of oxidation reaction our today's topic is oxidation and reduction we are going to study in detail what is oxidation and what is reduction reaction so what is oxidation reaction the chemical reaction in which a reactant combines with oxygen or loses hydrogen okay anything can happen either combination with oxygen either oxygen will get combined or hydrogen will get lost so that kind of reaction is called as an oxidation reaction is this thing clear once again i repeat the chemical reaction in which reactant combines with oxygen or loses hydrogen to form the product so it is called oxidation reaction okay students have you understood this now some oxidation reactions are brought about by use of specific chemical substance they have given one example example is of ethyl alcohol okay ethyl alcohol getting converted into acetic acid the common name for acetic acid is vinegar okay the vine vinegar that we use in our day to day life yes that vinegar and the formula for vinegar is acetic acid is ch3cooh you must be observing here in this reaction oxidation has taken place isn't it so ethyl alcohol is getting oxidized to acetic acid but on the arrow if you observe carefully they have used potassium dichromate as the catalyst you can say you remember na we have uh, discussed about the catalyst what are catalyst and all which helps in the reaction taking place okay so it acts as the catalyst and because of which the oxidation takes 
प्लेस ओके नाउ ऑब्जर्व द रिएक्शन गिवन बिलो नाउ दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज योर यू आर गोइंग टू अ लिटिल बिट कन्फ्यूजिंग इट कैन बी सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू बी वेरी यू नो यू हैव टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग ऑब्जर्व द रिएक्शन गिवन बिलो ओके कैन यू सी के एम एन ओ फोर दैट इज पोटेशियम पर मैगनेट प्लस टेन एफ ई एस ओ फोर फेरस सल्फेट एंड सल्फरिक एसिड गिविंग पोटेशियम सल्फेट मैंगनीज सल्फेट एंड फेरिक सल्फेट एंड वॉटर ओके ना हियर इन दिस रिएक्शन इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली एफ ई एस ओ फोर इट इज गेटिंग कन ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन टू एफ ई टू एस ओ फोर थ्री हैव यू ऑब्जर्व दैट एफ ई एस ओ फोर इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू एफ ई टू एस ओ फोर थ्री सी डोंट लुक एट द नंबर्स द कोफिशंस दैट इज बीन यूज लाइक टेन फाइव दैट इज यूज ओनली टू बैलेंस द इक्वेशन द मेन थिंग वॉट वी हैव टू सी इज वॉट इज द रिएक्टेंट मेन रिएक्टेंट एंड हाउ दैट रिएक्टेंट इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू प्रोडक्ट ओके सो कोफिशियंट इयर यू डोंट नीड टू सी लाइक वाई आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न इन द डाउन सेंटेंस टेन एंड फाइव ओके हियर वॉट मेन वी आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व दैट हाउ एफ ई एस ओ फोर इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू एफ ई टू एस ओ फोर थ्राइज ओके ना फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पार्ट I want you all to take out your नाइन्थ standard textbook. Okay, take out your नाइन्थ standard textbook, students, and chapter number फोर if possible. Okay, so if you have your नाइन्थ standard textbook in front of you. Did you do you remember this chapter measurement of matter that was chapter number 4 in 9th standard okay in this chapter if you remember we have studied about valency what is valency how the electronic configuration of an element is written isn't it what are the uh, maximum capacity of the octets and all if you remember we have studied we have also studied uh, what are the symbols valencies isn't it now when you look at this page of your 9th standard textbook see the down table they have given us that some of the elements they exhibit variable valencies that means for example now we all know the valency of sodium is 1 ओके एंड दैट इज नॉट वेरिएबल वेर एवर और वॉट एवर बी द कंडीशन बट द वैलेंसी ऑफ सोडियम विल बी वन इज एंड इट बट देर आर अ फ्यू एलिमेंट्स विच हैव वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स मोर देन वन वैलेंसी ओके सो यर दे गिवेन एग्जाम्पल कॉपर मर्क्यूरी आयन ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर कॉपर इज सी यू प्लस एंड सी यू टू प्लस टू वैलेंसीज वन एंड टू mercury also have one and two valency iron have valency 2 and 3 isn't it and that is why the charge that is developing on it that is fe2 plus and fe3 plus you remember in this chapter we have studied about radicals it's a, it's a short recap see if, until and unless you remember all those things it is very difficult for you to understand the further concept okay we have studied about radicals if you know that when any of the ionic compound okay any of the ionic compound when gets separ- when they are allow for the reaction they form ions isn't it and that ions they have positive or negative charges depending on their uh, uh, acceptance or losing of electrons for example when you put nacl in water so what will happen nacl will dissociate sodium chloride will dissociate and what charges will developed on nacl na will have a plus charge na plus and chlorine will have a negative charge now why they have only one plus charge on it because its valency is 1 
even why chlorine have only one minus charge on it because the valency of chlorine is one so when we say fe2 plus and fe3 plus that means fe2 plus means it has two less electrons and when i say fe3 plus that means it has three less electrons okay so try to understand if the element is fe2 plus and it is getting converted to fe3 plus that means first with ion only two electrons were less but but later three electrons got less that means one more electron is loosed isn't it so i hope you must be remembering this part we have also studied how to write the formula chemical formula of a compound if you remember isn't it first we used to write the symbols of the radical suppose if we if you want to write here you can see the example very nicely sodium sulfate if you want to write the formula for sodium sulfate we know sodium is na sulfate is so4 okay then we second step is to write the valency of the respective radical sodium the valency is 1 and sulfate the valency is 2 okay and then you know to cross multiply as shown in the shown by the arrows yes we have done this in ninth standard okay so now how you can relate it with the transformation you remember na here we were looking why fe how feso4 ferrous sulfate got transferred into fe2so43 how this happened we are going to understand now okay after this ninth standard recap now look at the reaction here students feso4 getting converted to fe2so43 now here if in case of feso4 the charge on fe is fe2 plus okay and sulfate so4 sulfate ion have a i charge of minus 2 okay 2 minus so feso4 fe2 plus and so4 2 minus on the other hand if you see the product you now i have shown you this part na see this part if so4 is having 2 na is having 1 that 2 will go to na and 1 will go to so4 okay this is how we write the compound the chemical formula of the compound the same thing applicable here okay see fe that the three which is written down of so4 so4 thrice that three is actually the charge that will be given to the fe so that will become fe3 plus and that fe2 what is written the two downwards that two belongs to so4 okay sulfate ion and that is why you can observe in the above conversation the net change that is taking place okay what you can see the net change taking place is fe2 plus that is ferrous fe2 plus the name will be ferrous ferrous is getting converted into ferric okay fe2 plus getting changed to fe3 plus now while this happens ferrous sulfate is losing one electron okay so fe2 plus will lose one electron and it will become fe3 plus the more it loses the electron the positive charge on it will increase okay from this we understand a new definition of oxidation which is oxidation means losing one or more electron when any of the element it loses one or more electron so that is also one definition of oxidation understood how ferrous getting converted into ferric that means losing of electrons see previously i told you what is oxidation either oxygen is gained or hydrogen is lost that is also a definition of oxidation reaction but 
in uh, uh, words of if you see on the um, for no for as the electron theory if you see so oxidation means losing one or more electrons okay so if na is getting converted into na plus that means oxidation has taken place and the charge has been developed okay student now now same as oxidation we have reduction reaction reduction reaction is totally opposite of oxidation if you remember the definition of oxidation i said acceptance of oxygen or losing of hydrogen gas is oxidation reaction hmm? so reduction reaction is totally opposite of it now you can see the example which is given here vegetable oil okay when hydrogen is added to vegetable oil in presence of nickel as a catalyst at 60 degree celsius we get vanaspati ghee now here you can see that hydrogen gets added to vegetable oil and vanaspati ghee is formed okay so the chemical reaction in which reactants gain hydrogen are called reduction reaction similarly reaction in which a reactant loses oxygen to form the product is called reduction reaction okay it's the opposite of it the substance that brings about reduction is called as reducing agent okay substance because of which reduction takes place is called as a reducing agent okay now the next topic that we are going to understand is redox reaction okay if you have understood oxidation reduction then it becomes very easy for you to understand what is redox reaction you can observe a reaction which is given there on the screen okay copper oxide plus hydrogen gas gives copper and water in this reaction oxygen atom goes away from copper oxide okay you can see the product observe the product oxygen atom goes away from copper oxide which means that reduction of copper oxide has taken place see just now we have seen what is in reduction either hydrogen is gained oxygen is lost so here from copper when oxygen is lost that means reduction has taken place whereas hydrogen molecule takes up the oxygen okay and water is formed so that means oxidation of hydrogen has taken place what what was the for definition for oxidation gaining of oxygen and for reduction it is losing of oxygen so here in this reaction if you observe one of the element is losing the oxygen one of the compound is losing the oxygen and on the other hand one of the compound element is absorbing that oxygen that means reduction and oxidation is taking place simultaneously yes so thus oxidation and reduction reaction occur simultaneously and therefore this kind of reactions are called redox reactions what is redox if you see from reduction red red and of oxidation ox so redox reaction is a combination of reduction and oxidation reaction that means reaction reduction reaction and redox reaction let's have a recap oxidation that means gaining of oxygen or losing of hydrogen is oxidation reaction okay even if you see with the electron theory so losing of electrons is also oxidation on the contrary reduction is gaining of hydrogen and losing of oxygen okay and redox it is a combination of reduction and oxidation reaction okay so that means a reaction in which oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously is called as a redox reaction okay dear students so uh, we have completed till now only the last topic of the chapter is left so in the next presentation we'll be completing this chapter all the assignments that are given to you i hope you all are completing that on time
okay and uh, the assignment for this uh, presentation will also be given to you so complete that and uh, study at home sairam students